hello my wonderful family are you doing hope you are doing great so god wants me to share this awesome message with you and testimony with you however before i continue god wants me to share this with you first of all hmm, spring is over mm -hmm. it's summertime baby so hmm Gradually, the weather is changing, you know, from rain to sun, from cold to hot, you know. And, you know, spring was like April till June. And it's been crazy. Especially in my past evil landlord's house and evil housemates I was living with. But God protected me all through nine months. Like, since last fall, since September, this winter january till spring june i give god all the glory so now it's summertime baby what we gonna do <laughs> so for me hmm so summer is july and august right so god will protect me again now and forever and god will protect you also so are you ready for summer's purpose with jesus hmm like seriously only with holy spirit help that we'll be able to pass summer tests with jesus so it's july 1 happy new month so this month will be a month of success in the name of jesus amen and also guess what god did for me to wrap up spring quarter hmm. god gave me a great testimony hmm my past evil landlord after watching that message on god's video he gave me back god's security deposit mm -hmm. praise god so remember god said in that video that if you don't return that security deposit he will attack his finances his tesla car in fact it will make him poor because he's stealing from god the evil landlord was scared so Omar, he returned the deposit straight asap hmm, thank god so immediately i released him to god you know i told god god touch his heart to give me back and the truth is that if he doesn't give me that money back he's not actually owing me he's owing god so detach yourself from the evil that men do so tell yourself they are they are doing it to god they are not doing it to me and it's true jesus said if they ate you it's not you they ate it's him they ate if they offend you it is not you it is jesus they are offending so immediately i released this the security deposit in god's hands i released it to god i was listening to god's sermon having fun with god and guess what i received an alert on my phone hmm. the evil lord has refunded the security deposit what praise god i mean seriously he did not want to do it but god touched him he did not want to do it but god used that video that testimony video that warning video that i recorded with the help of jesus to scare him to do it like it's true if he doesn't give me that money back if we have financial issues because god gives and god takes <laughs> even the evil our lord knows god is not playing <laughs> god made the evil housemate car not to walk like seriously she did evil to me last night she woke up the next day her car did not start hey <laughs> when the evil lord heard this oh boy was scared he was like hey like seriously yes don't joke with god god's a god of vengeance everything i have like they all belong to god like if you steal from god you are in trouble god will deal with these crows they are playing around don't call me a shot <laughs> if you steal it you are in trouble like god will deal with you like seriously also i'm a child of god if you do evil to me hmm, get ready god the god of vengeance he will deal with you on my behalf yes so don't mess with me don't mess with me because my god my father is very powerful like do you know who i am you know <laughs> like do you know who my father is mm -hmm. I'm not talking about my biological father. He is powerless. I'm talking about my heavenly father. He's my new father. My one and only daddy in heaven. Hey! Hmm. He's very powerful. So if you mess with me, ah, you are messing with Jesus. Yes. So don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, evil housemates, evil landlord, evil landlady. Hmm. Don't mess with me. Because when you mess with me, you mess with God. Yes. 
one word from god hmm, your life will be turned upside down one word from god you have leprosy straight hmm. another one the fire of god was born in my evil landlord like he started saying please leave my house because i've exposed all his evil deeds he does not know that god already told me it's time to leave like god was saying we have dealt with these evil people our time is up here he gave me 10 days god said i'm giving him one day so god meets, god took me out of that place asap because his time there was done so he has showed the evil landlord and evil housemate what is made of you know you do evil you reap evil and god is a god of vengeance and he will deal with them seriously praise god so another one is that you know why god and i we have a special relationship hmm. it's because god puts me in a place that no human being can survive it god put me in a place where he took all my friends my family is away from me so i can be focused and do what he has called me to do they were distractions like seriously god put me in a place where no one can help me but him god put me in like god seriously god god will put you in challenges in issues that no one can help you but him so he did that for me so god will remove all your friends so that it is only him you have like i don't understand but i believe i don't understand why god did that but i believe like it's the same god that saved me in college that saved me from addictions like he's a real god so if he says stay away he knows what he's doing he knows what he's saying like there are so many things god is telling me to do like i don't understand it it doesn't make sense but if god says do it i'll do it share that message i'll sh i will share it like it's my god is my father i am loyal to him because he loves me he cares for me and he wants the best for me like the testimonies god said share on my evil landlord and evil housemates worked for my good because it scared them away from me god knows what he's doing he's my only true best friend my daddy my lover my everything no wonder we are very close like very close like he keeps me calm he keeps talking to me everything will be fine he whispers to me in the middle of the night during the day when i like when i want to go crazy god helps me not to go crazy like god and i we have a unique relationship like i sense him i feel him i know when he's angry i know when he's happy i know when he wants me to do something urgently like when he wakes me up even when like he wakes me up and even when sleep tries to hold me down <laughs> i fight my way up with the help of the holy spirit like when god is pushing you to share 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 more messages you know it means something is coming up like in the midst of sharing i got my breakthrough the evil housemate left the house god took me out of that house like god was blessing me god was really with me it's a spirit thing you don't have to understand you just believe believe in god you two can have a unique relationship with him yes so another one let's talk about my current homeowner my landlady i mean this lady wow she's something else she likes money too much like seriously we have three bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom downstairs and guess what she did she said she wants to rent all the bedrooms that she'll be sleeping in the living room i'm like girl are you kidding me <laughs> you know tv in the living room she wants to just turn it to a room like thank god i have one in my room also she said she wants to turn the garage into a room <laughs> i'm like what i said this lady has completely lost it she loves money too much the love of money is the root of evil so the garage is for parking cars right especially, especially when it's fall and winter it gets really cold and you know to avoid eyes on your car you know you want to park in the garage now she wants to turn it into a room i mean this lady has completely gone mad for real like she loves money a lot and she'll be pretending like she doesn't she'll be saying i want to help people i'm like girl no child you love money sleeping in the living room you've lost it like this is greed child like this is greed and the house I, like we have only one bathroom upstairs so imagine all of us sharing one bathroom like it's crazy it's about to invest in putting a bathroom downstairs she's bringing more people child you've completely lost it also when she was renting she said female oh we'll continue the next video